Hello and welcome back to our Examine mini-series on MSOB Monday. I'm Adam Furman, Tech Evangelist here at MSOB. Today we are looking at Examine's superpower and that is filters. So filters exist everywhere within Examine. Every filter that we can see from the main case page is a hyperlink. These blue words are hyperlinks which will invoke a filter. So if we wanted to just look at pictures, we click that, it invokes a picture filter. And as we scroll down, we can invoke app filters, recognize content, cameras, and even identified language. So let us go into all artifacts and have a look at some of the other filters that are available to you. On the left hand pane on all artifacts, this is your left hand menu of filters. So we start with data sources. If we had multiple exhibits, we could in course invoke just a filter on a particular exhibit. We also have a timeline filter, a location filter, and these are a reminder of the data categories from the case overview page, as well as apps and tags as we work through the case. If we press the plus button, this shows you the other filters that are available for you to use. So we've got important ones like recognize content, sound X of words that sound similar, word lists, the list is extensive. As we go across the ribbon bar at the top is the known data library filter. So you can see I've already invoked it along with removing system files and application files. If we were to untick those, you can see after we invoke them, we're on 89,000 artifacts. If we untick them, you're gonna see the artifact count increase. All this is doing is adding noise to our case, giving us unnecessary artifacts to look at. We can also deal with duplicate files in Examine we can group them together. So it means you're only seeing them once, but of course you're gonna see every instance of where they exist file pathwise. We can also use our quick view menu, which allows us to set a filter for future cases. So example, if we wanted to run a word list, we could create that word list, run it, and then save it as a quick view. So then it's available to us on the main case page for every job going forward. We hope that you've enjoyed today's MSAB Monday and will join us again for part six next week. Thank you.